Hi, sixth grade ecologists. It's me, Miss K and Moon Jelly. I just wanted to make the video that I told you I was going to make to show you how to log in to Amplify if you still need to. So let me just get the screen up. Okay. <clears throat> so these are the instructions that. I gave to you and if you follow them to a T they will get you there the only thing that you need to really focus on is here where it says to type in 268 if you start typing PSIS or put the slash or the period you're going to be thrown into different schools that are not us so try to just do it this way it will be the first one that pops up and you put 268 then it is going to ask you for your username. Your username is your OSIS number or your student ID. Same number is going to be your password, okay? Then it's going to pop up a save this password, X that out, and then it's gonna ask you to make a new password. But the new password should be science268 and then confirm it and do the same one. After that, it is going to ask you for the class code. So I'll put those on Google Classroom because for 601 and 631, they're different. But just kidding. You have to go to learning.amplify.com, which is this make sure you are clicking clever that's this blue one here it's going to show you this when you type in two six eight it's going to pop up there then again the blue students teachers and school staff and then you are going to put in your osis number there and your osis number here and press login. I can't go any further because I'm not putting anybody anybody's number in um because it's private. But after that, you change the password to science268 and then you join your class, whichever one it is. And that's it. And we start our learning. And you guys get to look at all the articles and the simulations, and you can um do work in your investigation notebook but straight from the amplify platform and then it gets sent to google classroom so that's really awesome so i'm really hoping that you all get that done by tomorrow so that is your homework for today which is what i also told you on zoom earlier miss you guys and obviously um there's no threat to these moon jellies in this population so i can't wait to continue learning about them bye